I, I never try to like portray a specific meaning to somebody, you know what yeah. I mean? Like, it's, you know, my work's not very conceptual. Like for me, the, like the tiling process will be the closest thing to conceptual art that I delve into and in that yeah. like, I mean, obviously I, it makes me think about a bunch of different shit, but it's not like as I'm making it, I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to portray this feeling or this thought to other people. Like I just kind of make it and then whatever they take from it is what they take from it. It's a self-searching tool for me, basically. It's like how I've come to define myself. You know what I mean, like I feel like I, I learn shit from it constantly. You know, it's, uh, for me, it's a, uh, it's an approach to self-awareness. You know, so like that's, so I guess yeah, I have to switch the the visual part and say that meaning probably means more to me. But uh, as far as the practical application of making the work, and my concern towards the viewer would definitely be more the visual tip, like. I'm not trying to dictate anybody's interpretation. So, yeah, towards the viewer, visual more important to me and me. Like the first artistic experience I remember clearly it was like when I was a little kid, I was like, you know, maybe five or something, like taking a bath. There was like this tub that my parents had at their house and they had a shower. It was just like a tub. And there was like a, the box in front where the knobs came out showed us this from like a paneling. And it's all kind of like swirly and shit. And I'd always stare at it as a kid and just like try to create different images out of swirls, like how people look at clouds and like the faces out or whatever. And like each day when I go back and take a bath, like I look at it again and try to see those same ones plus find different ones or like see if I can see the same one in a different way. And like that's the same approach that I have to art to this day is like, you know, like I'll kind of smear shit out on canvas and form faces and stuff out of it. So it's, I don't know, that's like the, the earliest thing I can think of as far as like, the same mode of thought for my current practice. And usually it seems like about like maybe halfway through this process of very kind of haphazardly like splashing shit, marking shit, building it and then marking another place out, it'll get to where it's like I kind of know what it's going to look like when it's done, and then it's just a lot of just doing all the little shit to get it to that point. The biggest thing is like, fucking put in time, you know? Learning how to commit. Yeah. Yeah, like that's definitely a big part of it, like committing. Like, I can think of numerous times where like I didn't want to like work on shit, but I did. You know? And I think, uh, I mean, in general, I like I enjoy it and I want to work on stuff. But I think that was a good part for me of like booking a bunch of shows because it would kind of like force you mm -hmm. to be like, new stuff. yeah, it's like, oh shit, I have like this show, fucking, it's a week away, and like I only have one new piece so far, and like all my other shit's already hanging out somewhere else, like gotta get on it, you know, or you'll, like, a lot of time, too, like, if you're actually doing a show, you'll kind of have, like, an overall idea, and then you kind of, like, you get excited about that idea, and you want to manifest it, you know, but, uh, I haven't done too many shows like that, unfortunately, a lot of my shows have just been, like, moving with old work from one place to another, you know, but, um, yeah, I do, like, you know, a few shows a year where it's, like, kind of, like, you know, a bigger deal for me, and it's, like, about making one complete thought kind of come together. Always exciting to have something like that. Yeah, acrylic spray paint dry materials. Mix those three, and then I usually do on canvas. Um, yeah, I do other stuff, but that's that's kind of like my standard. Paper, paper's nice, man. I've been doing a lot of these like portrait type things on paper, and uh, it's, it's cool, you know. Like, but the the thing that that would lack for like doing a lot of the time when I'm doing uh, 
think the paintings I do for myself when it's not thought out, like I end up masking off lots of different areas and cutting and stuff like that, so then paper would be problematic so you can't really like tape and cut tape and all that shit. But as far as just like drawing and stuff goes, like I really dig around the paper and then it's nice storage wise and like yeah, selling wise and like all that kind of shit, you know? But yeah. Nine times out of ten, it looks great drawing materials on canvas.